folks, uh, I'm back with Nigel, and what you're looking at here is um, on just here, that's it, these two apples here were sent to us by Dave Lee Robson, uh, Geek Dave, from uh, YouTube, you know, the famous one on there, and um, we're just going to have a little chat about it. Nigel's found some apples, what he believes are the same ones. And uh, I'll, I'll put it over to him to uh, talk more. Okay, uh, so these are the two apples that Dave sent. Uh, like many apples from fairly old apple trees that haven't been looked at, uh, looked after very well, um, the fruit are often distorted and not a very good shape. And it can be very difficult to identify apples that are from a tree like that. They tend to be too small. They tend to be uh, not particularly ripe. Uh, it's too green that means and they can have uh, strange shapes and this is because the tree has got a build-up of diseases which has occurred over the decades so the fruit doesn't look, look typical for that particular variety uh, but I found uh, a variety here which I think is probably the same as this one this is from a young tree this fruit is from a young tree and uh, this is how this particular variety should look. If I just show you how the varieties compare, um, let's take this one first of all. So this is one of Dave's apples. Notice the, uh, the colouring in it. And if I take one of these apples, uh, let's take this one, you can see the colouring is very, very similar. Yeah. Okay. Even down to little fine marks. What's yeah, yeah, these little freckles yeah, or, or, or lenticels yeah. are, yeah. are identical on both. And there's a similar finish on the skin as well. Yeah. Um, the next thing I noticed is that if you take this apple, which is underripe, you can see it's underripe because it's green. Green. It should actually have the same colour as that. Okay. Because it's from the same tree after all. Yeah. But it was probably probably from a shady branch but just look at the similarity in shape yeah they're absolutely the same okay and the apples do vary drastically don't they yeah I mean this one is ripe yeah. this one is underripe yeah I mean shape wise and oh, oh yeah, yeah they do yeah yeah um, the next thing I noticed was that one of my apples here has the same oh yes look yeah, at that what we bit like a deformity but yeah not, this little yeah. swelling yeah, next to yeah. the stem yeah but in other respects the apples are pretty similar we did think about a taste test but the, this isn't a reliable method for this particular variety now I reckon this is claygate pomaine okay mm -hmm. claygate pomaine okay but claygate pomaine you can't recognize it through the taste because in a wet year, the scent, if you slice through the, the fruit, the apple goes glassy and very, very sweet. In a normal year, it tends to taste quite strongly of pineapple. And in a bad year, it tastes very, very sour. So the, the taste is so variable, it's not really going to be a valid comparison. We have apples here from a good tree a young tree, newly grafted, okay. that are ripe, and we've got apples here where we're not quite sure if they're ripe and um, the tree has been neglected. Okay. So the taste probably won't correspond anyway. And perhaps you can just explain to some of the viewers who are not familiar with um, apples uh, about when to pick them and how, to know, how you know when to pick them. Yeah, um, well just imagine you've got an apple tree and you wait through the season and eventually some of the apples start to fall off. Now you'll find the first apples which fall off have got grubs in and they've ripened prematurely. That's why that they've fallen off. If you keep your eyes on that apple tree, eventually you'll get fruit falling off that have no grubs in at all. And this is an indication that the fruit is ripe. Okay. And to confirm it, you can um, slice the fruit through and you'll see the pips are almost black yeah okay but before you actually get to that you can also if you touch the apple on the tree and you slightly twist it should come off oh yes it? that's right that's right yeah and um, if you have to struggle to get the apples off they're not right okay. and I was I was quite annoyed with a 
a friend of mine recently who had a beautiful crop of apples on her tree and she took them all off about a month ago said they were incredibly sour and of course uh, she shouldn't have picked them until December so she was picking them three months early right. yeah. so you know no wonder they didn't taste right yeah. okay that's all I've got right. to say okay then thanks a lot Nigel for that I hope uh, that's of some help to you Dave and uh, We'll, we'll leave these for um, a week or so and then we, we might taste them, might we? Yeah, we might do that, yeah. 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 Okay. okay, bye.